Right, good morning, and uh, today I would like to talk to you about Price for Profit, the new plugin for the embroidery, sewing, and dressmaking industry, as well as for the digitizing people. Um, and we're going to do a demonstration on what the plugin can do. At this point, we're standing on the back end of the dashboard part of a WordPress blog, and we're going to start off with going through, and I'm going to show you exactly where these are. So after installation, you will have two uh, parts in the menu. The one will be the web invoice section there. In the, I'll just show you with the, mouse, with the mouse now. That's my web invoice part. And the other one would be my price for profit plugin at the bottom. Now those two goes together. One installation. Once they've installed, you'll have both of them there. So let's go and click on price for profit. And then go and click on calculate. I'm going to set up. A new business from scratch and I want to show you how easy it is to do that save the data and all that right so we've moved over now to the price for profit no more small change uh, screen and on step one we have nine questions that we need answered and those nine questions will determine the, the, the success of your business now first part in the column on the left hand side we're talking about project hours that is based on how many hours per week are you prepared to work in your business. So we normally start off with number of hours per day. And for argument's sake, we'll say normally there's eight hours in a day. We shouldn't work eight hours, but let's, let's go and say six hours in a day. So we're going to work six hours in the day. Number of days in the week. We're not going to work on Saturdays and Sundays. So let's work on five days a week um, and then go down. A number of weeks in a month. There's four weeks in a month, um, and say you're full time in the full time in your uh, business. It's a full time business, so therefore we can work four weeks in a month. They work for four weeks in a month, and go down to say number of months in a year. Please take a break for at least one month, and so let's work on eleven. Now, once I've done that, you'll see in the pink section at the bottom, it's already given me my annual man hours. It's already there. One, three, two, oh, it's already visible and it's there. So that, as soon as I put that information in, it calculates my total man hours for me. All right, now we're going to go over to financials. Next spot, success column in the middle, financials. Now I'm just going to scroll down a slight, slight bit here so that we can see it looks as if there's information there. Right, in the financial section, we're going to work with annual expected salary. We're going to work with Estimate, uh, uh, estimated direct cost. Now, what is your estimated annual direct cost that you spend a year on your business? If it's in the embroidery site, your direct cost will be things like needles, servicing of your machines, replacements, um, replacement parts, uh, stabilizer, um, thread. That will be your S direct cost. So that will be the annual cost there. there. Then the other one is, is the current annual overheads. That is your day-to-day -day running. In other words, whether you do business or whether you don't, that will be your, over, your current overhead. Plus, it can increase if you do extra. Now, why I'm saying that is, is when we look at annual salary and when we're going to go down to current, current annual overhead, you'll see I'm going to have a fairly low salary, but I'll have my annual overhead. Now, both of them together would normally come out of your pocket, out of your, out of your salary. Uh, if you were working for a boss, you're working for yourself now, you can actually separate those two so you'll have your salary. I'm going to start with a salary of, let's say, um, 12, 24, 48,000. 48, and I'm working in Rand because um, I can't work in dollars. Should be closely divided by 10, so that should be about 4,000, uh, close to $4,000 a year. Okay, estimated overhead cost. Let's say we work on a thousand a month, so that's twelve. Make it fifteen thousand for a year. Okay, annual overhead cost, uh, bond payments, water, lights, telephone bills, uh, cl cleaner, gardener, gardener, all the salaries, all the all the extra bits and pieces that we can put together for the business. So let's work on twenty thousand a month, so that's twenty two hundred and forty thousand rand for a year put that in there and then I would like to make some profit because I would like to go overseas at some stage so I'm going to add a thousand profit per, per um, 